this is Straight No Chaser, the podcast here on the YouTube and the Clubhouse app. We want to say thank you to both audiences for rocking with us because we wouldn't be where we are without you. So we definitely want to say thank you. We try to bring you nothing but premium content for what's going on on the app and what's also going on across the world. We also bring you our own exclusive content where we have a wide range of debates about sports, politics, music, relationships, all of the above. We are here to serve you. So please like, subscribe, and share our YouTube. Hit the bell at the top for notifications of all our latest videos. You go rocking with the best. Remember, there's only one straight no chases. The basis of the topic or the question of, of, bro, half, of the, yeah. half of the internet is a bunch of rats anyways, bro. It's people on the internet don't know what they be talking about. They literally like it's just, it's just crazy, bro. It's like people be snitching on themselves every day on the internet, bro. Like they just snitch on themselves. They incriminate yeah. themselves. It's crazy, bro. Like people don't say nothing about that. They don't call them a snitch when they snitch on themselves. Mm-hmm. So. Niggas be ratting, niggas be all that shit. Why is niggas surprised? Like, I just don't understand why niggas be so surprised that some of our people be ratting. Like, everybody that come from the hood don't necessarily didn't it, it didn't um, embrace it like that. In today's you know code, what I'm saying? Like, I, in today's code, bro, like it's no sense they got a street code. What code? What code? That's what I'm saying. It ain't no code. code. Yeah. It ain't no code. Ain't no so it's like code. people are gonna do what they want to do regardless, you know. Like no, what well, the code is, the code is self-preservation. That's what the code is. Now more nowadays, niggas is practicing that self-preservation more than ever. And that's a fact. That's a motherfucking fact. That's the code. Self-preservation. Fuck you. It's about me. Straight up. So, you know, look, I I don't I I I, I I'm not a nigga who gonna be biased. It goes from the top to the bottom. You chose them people. That's who you selected to do your crime with and trust your whole life in. Nigga, that's your mistake. You fucked up and did that. Now, the niggas who, who let you choose them, they chose you, thinking that you wouldn't be a rat and you wouldn't be a snitch. Well, that's your mistake, stupid. You should have vetted the nigga better. It is, it, it is what it is. Stop crying like bitches. Niggas get, niggas get ratted on every day, B. And ain't nobody saying nothing about them because they not celebrity niggas. So I don't give a fuck about that celebrity shit, bro. Like, nigga, that's what that is. Shit, get, do what you do. Shit, what about the niggas every day that be getting ratted on for no reason? The niggas don't be on here outraged. I don't hear nobody on here talking about little Tony down the street got snitched on. Blah, what the fuck we go do? Yeah, man, shut up. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Oh, because he's a celebrity. Oh, my God, nigga. Snitching is out, outrageous. Nigga, nigga snitched yesterday. You don't even know it. Your next door neighbor probably is a rat. You don't even know. Hey, what you think about the little? Because they said if they celebrity. call him in, he gonna have to maybe uh, testify. They was to call him in. So like, what you think about like, like young thug side point of view? Like, as a young thug, what you think he thinking? I'm gonna tell you what I think that nigga thinking. That nigga thinking, I gotta figure out the best way to try to get the most less time and figure out how I'm going to survive in here until I get out, if I get out. That's what I think the nigga thinking, because the reality is it, th- this ain't in his hands no more. When you in a situation like that, I don't, you probably been to court and been to jail before in some cases, so you know. But those who don't, nigga, this is not, the shit is not in your, it's in your your attorney's hand, the the the, the, the prosecution, and, and the jury, if you go in a trial, and the judge. And the judge is the least you got to really worry about. It's the jury that you got to worry about. Um, it, it, nigga, you, you got to think about how you going to make it and survive and still take care of your people and try to get the shortest time. You don't have time to worry about, hmm, should, should I do something together this day? Of course you should. You catch him, you catch him. But right now, you got to focus on what you going to do because it's not looking good for you in the event that it don't go good for you. This is real life. I'm in jail, it's out of my hands. There's nothing too much I can do. So the little bit that you can control, and he a smart man, that's what he's going to focus on. Because that's exactly what the fuck I'm focusing on. I'm in the law library every motherfucking day, going through code, going through law, going through this, going through that, trying to see a, a better way that I can get through loopholes and this and that. That's what the fuck I would be doing, and I think that's what he doing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, hey, you gotta, bro, you gotta, I ain't going to lie to man. Your thug helped the man, helped his career. But that, your thug, it probably won't be no gunner. You feel me? I never heard of that. What, the, what that mean? Like, 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 so that's like a, that's like a nigga saying, I'll die for you because you looked out for me. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how he looked. Gunner looking like, nigga, I, yeah, you did, but I'm not giving up my whole life for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think gonna charge it. Like, really, gonna, 
he he really ain't had anything really to do with the situation. Gonna go. me? It was more of like he just was the weakest link. Gun, yeah. You know I mean? Well, he gone. He gone. Though. Whatever he did, Gunner Gunner didn't already told him he gone. They that that's. I just want to see up. like all yeah. these all these. I just want to see when time go. I just see all these rappers that preach on the uh, I don't mess with snitches and all that. I just want to see if they still gonna hang around Gunner. I want to see this though. I want to see it. Yeah, they are. So you, do you think if you hang around a rat, well, from your perspective, you think you hang around a rat that makes you I'm sorry. I'm sorry, smoking. You said what? Do you believe in hanging around a rat make you a rat? Oh, yeah. Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, on some street shit, if it's a street nigga, like one from, you know, we game based, so it's politics where I'm from. So if I'm, if I'm around a known snitch, you know, we homies. Yeah, that, that 100 makes me a snitch. But if I'm going to go get my car fixed and the owner that worked there just so happened to tell on some there, and, but I know him, he a civilian, that's a little different. But I, even I would look at him different. Yeah, I would probably jokingly fuck with him about being a rat. But like on some gang shit, no, 100%, no. Family member, it don't matter. If my dad was a rat, a well-known rat, yeah. We probably conversate on phone because that's my father. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like being around the nigga, like, nah, I'm not. You're not making me a target, sir. That was the choices you made trying to be a gang banger, a gang member, and you fucked up. And you know I wouldn't even conversate with, with him on the phone. No, that's my dad, my nigga. I ain't gonna front like that. I love my dad. It's just nigga, you're a rat. And unfortunately, you raised me in this environment with talking. You gonna to still love him after he did that? That's my father. Of course. Gave me life. Yeah. Nothing, yeah. nothing trumps nothing trumps a nigga who gave me life and took care of me. I, he ain't a he ain't a, you act like that nigga was one of those uh absentee parents. I'm just saying, like he an absentee parent or something. No, I'm talking about my father. Like if it was like your whole if it was like your if it was like your homeboy and he snitched on you, then I can see you hang around. No, nah, I wouldn't care who it is, man. Once you do nigga, that, is man. you crazy? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, you on some street shit with me? Hey, Even so what's up? What y'all think of Charleston White? Cause he be speaking a lot about this. <clears throat> he let, but he tell you he a rat though. He is a civilian. Yeah, I lost. I, I saw it to that nigga when he said he raped. When he he raped women, whether he was joking or not. Like when he said that, I stopped listening. Nah, to I, to, I, I think me and you was that me and you that talked about that. Uh, I don't even know. Probably was. I yeah. can't even know. Well, what I was saying when somebody said that. Uh man, you know that niggas talking about running trains. Like I, I, he, I know yeah. he said it, but like niggas way blowing that way out of out of. Well, he ain't really yeah. not here. He actually raping white. But come on, like you know he may have miss said it, misworded it, but I, I know exactly what he talking about. You know what I'm saying? That, that's I, why I didn't even pay that that comment no energy. I just said nigga, you should have said it different. But niggas know the fuck you, man. I still, I, can't, I still can't believe you got niggas out here saying gonna then shit. Like that's crazy when you hear that that's shit. That's what I'm saying. Nah, no, I, I heard somebody say that they, they said on the video. I said that's crazy. I hear a lot of people keep saying young because it don't even make sense. I hear a lot of people keep saying young thug probably told gunner to snitch because you got yeah. two big dogs. This, this I heard. This is what I heard. You got two big dogs that's a part of a label, and one of them need to be free so they can take care of each other kids mm. or something like that. Nah, <laughs> man, I don't care what you say. I'm still like well, doing that. Nah, but hold on, though. Hold on, though. Hold on. Hold on. I did hear the same thing. I didn't get that no energy yet because I, I ain't hear that from no confirmed source. So that's why I don't really be speaking on shit that I don't really know is true. But you know, like, um, dog in court, dog in court right now. They just posted a video of dog in court. Let yeah, he in court right now. Bro, let me say something yeah. real yeah, I really want to know. I really want to know what he's gonna say. I want to know. I want to hold on. Hold on, real quick, bro. Go ahead, Harvey. Go ahead, Harvey. I'm I'm 47 years, 46 years old, right? Yeah. I'm 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 from the islands. You know, I've been a gangster since I was 14, dog. You say you from the islands? You mean like overseas or Pomona, Pomona, California? That was my stuff. You from Pomona, California? Listen, it's confirmed niggas a fucking rat because yeah. when he pled guilty, you have to tell the court in open court, I did this to you. I, when you I want said a that in the case, you want a conspiracy case, the minute you tell you plead guilty in open court, once you say I did that shit, we did that shit. Hey, I don't even understand why people are saying, oh, it ain't proven. <laughs> hey, hey, Harvey, that's what Harvey. Rat. 
Yeah. Harvey, my nigga, Harvey, I wish he was in there when I first started the room because I said the same exact thing. Listen, he told before he even went in there and did that. In order for them to get that nigga the deal, he had to give them the goods. And God and damn it, he good. wrote them goods down. Then they had to confirm them goods to make sure that his story lined up in order to even put his ass on the stand to do what he did. And just like Harvey said, when he went in there and admitted in front of that court on record, use a rat. There's yeah, no see me, I ain't gonna lie. See me, see me, I don't know how the system works because I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never been. Yeah, I get I get it. Bro, I, get it so I wouldn't even gotta, know how you gotta understand, works. you gotta understand. <clears throat> it's cops out there, like my man say, it's civilians, regular people, you know, old people, people get up, go to work every day. In their eyes, they've been programmed, it's okay to tell. Ain't a cop wearing a badge, he get paid every day to snitch on people. He get paid to go in the courtroom to tell on people. So in their eyes, there's nothing wrong with what's going on. What I see the difference between how I came up and how these youngsters are coming up, you get the guy who told on everybody, he get back on the street, he got the nice car, still telling on everybody, getting a check from the feds, getting a check from the state police because snitches get paid every day. Don't get it fucked up. Don't get it twisted. Vice pay their informants. And what ends up happening, it becomes programmed to a younger generation. This is the thing to do when you get fucked up and they calling your name in that courtroom. My generation, we were programmed. If you're going to be a soldier, you got to be ready to go. When that call come in, hey, you finna spin this block. You got to be ready to die tonight. If the advice hit that door and take everything and put a case on you, you got to be ready to go in that courtroom and walk away from it all and get your life up. See, that's what a lot of these youngsters got fucked up. You can't be out here hollering, you gangster, you this, you bought that, and you're not ready to walk away from it. See, I don't, I don't think that they getting programmed, snitch. I just think they just getting scared. They go, they get in there and they see. I mean, you know, they you throw out them numbers at them. They just like, oh shit, they panic. Like, oh hell no, nah, I ain't about to do all these. I ain't about to do all these. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I can't speak on. Bro. I can't speak on everybody. I can speak on myself. I've been charged with all kind of shit, bro. Extortion, homicide. I had a RICO case. I had a conspiracy case. I've been to jail over 38 times. Damn. The streets. I'm in Tampa, Florida. The street, street niggas will speak for me. I ain't got to talk about what I do, how I do it. Mm -hmm. I ain't never had the word snitch, rat affiliated with my name. For one, if you if you do, you ain't making no money and you ain't going to be in the street. Uh, you ain't going to be around niggas that's really in the street. Every time I, every time I've been in that courtroom, mm -hmm. I understood your private attorney, your private attorney, He's just like the cop wearing the badge. The private attorney you hire and pay money to, guess what? He's an officer of the court. If you tell that private attorney, hey, man, I did it, but you got to beat it, that private attorney, ethically, he swore to an oath. He's going to plead you guilty. He's not going to take you into a trial knowing you did it. So a lot of niggas don't understand the system. And they tell a lawyer in his office, oh, man, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I they, they found this, but uh, can you file a motion, get it dismissed? You done told on yourself. So a lot of people don't understand how the system works. When you get a RICO case like Thug and them got, all it takes is one motherfucker to beat that case. Everybody finna go home because it, it's a collective. You saying two or more people created an organization, they got illegal funds, and they benefited from the organized crime. If you get it where it's 25 of y'all in the indictment, and two of y'all go to trial, one of y'all get found guilty, one of y'all get found not guilty, guess what happened to the one just got found guilty? They finna overturn it on appeal. Because in the actual indictment, you're saying this was a collective, everybody participated. If you get one person not guilty, then that means that's not a factual and truthful statement. It's based on a lie. The allegation ain't going to hold up on appeal. And this is done happen. You got several people across the country that have been on RICOs, went to trial, 
got slapped with all this time. Then they co-defendant went to trial, got found not guilty. They get out. So when it come to Thug, you know what Thug thinking right now? I should have fucking bodied them niggas. I was fucked up. I had this one done, this one hit, that one hit. I hit the wrong motherfuckers. Because people you trust is selling him out. So what y'all going to see happen, Thug going up with a 20 to life bid. These niggas like Gunner going to be on the street. Still telling on motherfuckers. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't think he gonna like get that all, never happened. I don't think he gonna get that much time, bro. I think he probably gonna get about five. Bro, let me let me let me explain. I don't think he gonna let him I think he's gonna get about people. ten or less, bro. A lot of people. Yeah, you know, cause that, that money that money talk. Yeah. Let me let me explain something to y'all. When Thug caught this case, it's a state case, right? Yeah. Sitting in the cut is the FBI. Yeah. Love finna get swung at twice. Whenever this state shit get done, did no way, they're gonna pick him up and put him on some type of fed case. Be it for the guns, be it for the, the homicides, uh or, or the or the uh the dealing and willing, whatever was going on, you know, with how they was generating the money outside of the legal shit he got with the uh record label. So what I'm trying to get y'all to understand is they swing at you twice. You know, I don't seen niggas get knocked off with pistols. The state knocked them off. The state end up dropping the gun charge and the feds pick the gun charge up. Nigga out on the street on buying everything. U.S. Marshal come grab them. State charge get dropped. He go to feds get 10 or 20 flat. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, Thug got a major uphill battle. When you hit the feds, bro, your money is irrelevant. I done, I done been a trustee in the county jail in a federal pod. Here in Tampa, in Hillsborough County, they got a fed pod just for federal inmates. I was a trustee in there for like uh, about eight, nine months. Dog, I seen these motherfucking Colombians come up here from South America. I don't see the paperwork. They get it. They pay the government 20 million, 30 million, 40 million. I'm talking about big dog, big the fucking kingpins. They call it buying their time back. They have no record here in America. So when they when they get when they pay the feds all this money, it get them 10 years instead of life sentence. It may get them 20 instead of life sentence. I done seen where in the feds, dog, your money, your lawyer, that don't mean shit. These crackers print the money. You 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 thinking, oh, I go get a lawyer, I'm, I'm a millionaire. That shit don't matter in the feds. In the state, it can help you out. You may end up beating the shit in trial with the right lawyer. You may end up getting the, what you feel is a good deal with the right lawyer in the state. But in the feds, that shit irrelevant. I guarantee you, if the state attorney... That black lady who prosecuting thug. If she was the fuck up and had to dismiss that man case, the feds would pick it up. I'm telling you. That's just how this shit go. Yep, yep. Hey, that's real shit. He dropping gems. He dropping gems. And I, I see it the same yeah. way. Like, um, hey, y'all. That, that, y'all that, 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 that nigga boost just came out. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Morning. So you basically yeah, saying that? Boosie, what? Oh my bad. And I was saying no, y'all was... just seen that, that nigga Boosie just posted up calling Gunner Rent going off on Gunner. Oh, he did. Yeah, no, Boosie. I to go watch that shit in a minute. Nah, he ain't make a he ain't make a video. <laughs> nah, he ain't make a video. Oh. He just posted a post going off. He made a long oh. ass post. Boosie definitely oh, gonna keep him real though. He said he said that shit would have. Hey, what Boosie said? He said that shit would have brought me to tears knowing that my a nigga that uh that I thought was my brother. And my artist, mm-hmm. you know, would have got on the stand and, you know, whatever you just saying. I ain't yeah, read all right, shit. Right. I'm going to go read that. Yeah. Gunner been told, yeah, though. Yeah, he did. He was yeah, on, on the crime stop. Stop. Been crime like stop. seven years ago. See, I ain't going to see. see yeah. I live, see, I'm from, I live in Atlanta. I'm from, uh, like, the old Cleveland area. Well, you know, I live on the Cleveland area side where them niggas from. And, like, yeah, you know, he been out now. Well, he, he ain't from Atlanta. He from, uh. And I wonder, I wonder, is Boosie gonna still hang around Ti? Cause Ti did the same thing. Was gonna crime stoppers. Nah, I mean, but Ti, I don't really think what Ti did was wrong though. T, I don't think Ti, what Ti did on crime stopper was wrong, because Ti was telling civilians to go to call the police. He wasn't talking to the street. Ti, really you ain't seen the new video Ti made. Ti said he snitched. He basically nah. he told. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, on the dead. his phone number. Yeah, I don't know why people always bring up that commercial, bro. I said, but that's still telling though. though. They ain't that's really not telling. He was talking to civilians. I got another tip. Let me yes, he was talking to civilians. He wasn't talking to everybody. That that nigga, nigga, hey, let's move on. Yeah. Let's get let's get back. Let's get back on focus. That nigga, yeah, well, we not gonna agree on yeah. that. Uh, that, that that's was a little me. rabbit hole right uh, there. Yeah, gonna say gonna but gonna though. Gonna the gonna tell the gonna tell. They say he not. They say he didn't tell niggas. Oh no, nah, he told. He tell. Man, that man said yes. But like this, bro. To the new people to the new people. How y'all feel about it? I'm gonna say it like this, bro. I'm gonna keep it in the back of my mind. He told, but I ain't gonna sit there and come out and say he told. Like I'm nah, sure he told. That nigga nah, told. Video, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. He gonna video come out soon. He, he ain't tell him no. Why I said it's a gang? Yes, it is. No, no, said that bitch is a gang. They supposed to say this shit a family. Yeah, like this shit a gang. It's like yeah. saying, it's like saying, did YSL murder these people? Yes, they did. Yeah. Yeah. He put like, 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 those things. Oh, what that was? In order to, in order to he did the, he did the worst thing. thing. He did the, he's happened. supposed to say it's a I company. Mean, what, he he did the, what, what am I missing he, here? He did the worst thing ever. Instead of going at individuals, he went at all of it. Hey, like <laughs> oh, all damn, right. nigga. That's like not going at Donald Trump. We're going to go at the Trump organization and take the damn organization. Come on, bro. He took that boy said it's a game. Down, yeah. And he Come said they on, said he man. personally what made those things. We talking man. about here. Yeah, it's live right now. Y'all thug in court. It's on live. Uh, but it's over too late. Thug, he, man, they, it's the over. nigga, listen, I feel bad for him because it's over. Because that nigga went in there. Yeah, it's over. Gonna tell everything. Yeah, <laughs> bro. I don't even see how you can come out smile. I don't see how you can come out yeah, and not just. Bro. I know that shit bothering him. He got to be bothering him. This is how scary Gunna is. Gunna could have waited one more month, bro, to go to trial. Like, this man scary as hell. Like, I don't see how he could be out sitting out enjoying himself celebrating. Like, I know it's bothering him. Man, you can't do 20 more days for thug. This man put you on. The man literally just sat in court and just said but yes and all that. Know, all, the, all the rappers that preach on snitching, like 21 Savage, all, I want to see if they still going to hang around Gunner, bro. Hell yeah, them niggas don't care. Oh, uh, yeah. I hope they don't, man. 